Right. So you mentioned fear. So one of the fears is that the dad is going to get isolated or um, reported to the police or some version of that one. Are there other fears that dads have that we need to be aware of? Um, so that's a thing that really happened. It's other people being afraid of men is what I was referring to. Right. And, but yes, men. Um, so men, very many men are aware of specific things that have happened. So, for example, there is a guy in my book who uh, took paternity leave to care for his uh, wife who had become very sick and mentally ill while pregnant and their new child. Um, and he had been a rock star at work, but when he went back to work, they demoted him and ended up firing him because, and they admitted in the deposition, they had traditional views of men. Um, and there are all kinds of cases like that. So there is a legitimate fear of taking leave or of um, seeking a flexible schedule to do caregiving because you do can get punished in the workplace by people who believe that men should not be home or that men aren't really doing anything at home, that it's all just a big joke. So there's that kind of fear. Um, and yes, there are sure there are other fears as well, including, you know, the concerns that you bring up, this idea that if you are doing this caregiving, you could end up feeling isolated. This is why there are terrific groups like the city dad groups now that get groups of men, including full-time at-home men, um, together or during the pandemic together virtually for supportive activities in which they have fun together. And and it's a sign of community. And um, that has been really instrumental in helping change the culture. 